Hi, I'm Mursid Hassan Basri. In this video, I'm going to talk about the quality management system. Concept of quality management is not new. It was started when quality on the end product became a focus during 1920s. Product quality control was based on statistical theory at the times. As the term, the quality management system was coined by Ken Crutcher in 1991. Quality management system, or QMS, is a collection of business process focused on consistently meeting customer requirements and enhancing their satisfactions. Okay, we take a look at the TKM first. Total quality management is defined as a management approach to long-term success through customer satisfactions. The important keywords are customer satisfactions, management approach, and total itself. Customer satisfaction is the ultimate goal of the system. No matter how good organizations do for quality, at the end, the customer will determine the quality level. Management approach means it contains a closed loop activities of planning, do, check, action to continually improve the quality. And the term total implies all members of an organization are responsible for quality improvement. From this philosophy, there are eight elements of TKM. The customer focus, total employee involvement, process-centered, integrated system, strategic and systemic approach, continual improvement, fact-based decision-making, and communications. The second QMS is the ISO 9000 series. More formal definitions coming from American Society for Quality that define QMS as a formalized system that documents process, procedures, and responsibility for achieving quality policies and objectives. ISO 9001 specify requirements for QMS. There are seven principles of QMS. Customer focus, leadership, engagement of people, process approach, improvement, evidence-based decision-making, and relationship management. Unlike other QMS, ISO 9001 is a certification for organizations that maintain an efficient quality system and must be re-audited every three years. The third is MBNKA. MBNKA stands for Malcolm Baldrige National Quality Award. This is not really a QMS. However, this presidential award is given to companies that have implemented successful QMS. That means the MBNKA criteria lead the company to improve their quality. Companies must submit an application that contains how they approach, deploy, and result their quality activities in seven major categories. Leadership, strategy, customer, measurement analysis and knowledge management, workforce, operation and result. Its name implies that this is only eligible for the US companies, but it inspires many countries to adopt the criteria for local quality improvement. MBNKA provides a scoring system of 1000 that classify a company into a certain level of performance. And last but not least, we can also see Six Sigma as a QMS since it provides a systematic approach using the mic. Define, measure, analyze, improve, and control to pursue quality improvement until 3.4 dpmo, which is equal to Six Sigma level. Companies can develop many Six Sigma projects to improve quality level in many areas, departments, or processes. As a project, a team is built and run the project to achieve the goal within the specific scope, time, and resources. As a summary, in this video, we learn four approaches that lead a company to pursue the quality improvement journey. Although all of them require a management system, they differ in terms of scope and principle. TKM and MBNKA are developed for the whole organizations. ISO 9000 can be developed for the entire organization or particular functions, while Six Sigma use project scope in their implementations. Among them, only TKM provide a guideline without formal recognitions. ISO 9000 give certifications, MBNKA result in a score to benchmark with others, 
and Six Sigma provide Sigma level indicating the quality level. Thank you.